Hey guys, welcome back for another special LEGO Star Wars haul. I've been waiting to do this LEGO haul video for quite a while as I picked up some amazing deals in the, in the last month that I wasn't allowed to touch until I hit that 400 subscriber milestone. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for helping me reach this goal. I hope you all enjoyed this amazing haul that I've been hanging on to with a set for each of my 100 subs. Also, make sure you stick around until the end to see if you've got one of those all important shout outs. For the newcomers to my channel, welcome to the best YouTube channel for all things LEGO Star Wars. If you're a LEGO Star Wars fan like me and you want to see the best LEGO sets in the world, hear the latest LEGO news and see some amazing LEGO hauls, smash that subscribe button and get involved in the comment action at the bottom. Let's get straight into the haul. The first thing that I picked up is this massive 48 by 48 grey base plate. I've wanted one of these to display my minifigures because I've been sorting them all in the lunchbox and it's about to burst. I'll also be able to do some new minifigure videos again to show off the different subcategories of my collection. The next set is the Imperial TIE Fighter from the Solo movie. This is my third TIE Fighter after the Kylo Ren's TIE Silencer and Darth Vader's TIE Advanced. I really love the minifigures from this set. My Han Solo collection continues to grow and it's great to get another one in a really cool outfit. The Minban Trooper is another superb minifigure to add to my collection but it's probably one that's a real bonus in a TIE Fighter set like this because the TIE Fighter didn't feature too heavily in the Minban scene, unlike the AT Hauler. The next set I got is one that I've been watching for a while. It's the Imperial Convey X Transport. I absolutely love the train heist in the Solo movie, and in particular, the mean looking range troopers. These guys look absolutely amazing in minifigure form, with a little bit of material underneath the headpiece to add to their overall costume. Another thing I'm majorly excited about is getting a different version of everyone's favourite Wookiee, Chewbacca. There's been so little variety in the Chewbacca minifigure, basically because he only has one look. So it's great to see Lego taking the opportunity to give him a completely new mold with his windswept hair and goggles. The solo theme continues with this next one as I got another set that I have wanted from the moment I saw it. The Cloud Rider Swoop Bikes. I have wanted this set for one reason and one reason only, Memphis Nest. I absolutely love this character because she is one of the most awesome helmets in the Star Wars universe. When I first saw her, she reminded me of the characters from Destiny the video game, so I was glad to see Lego immortalising her in plastic. Finally, the last set that I got was one that moves away from the solo theme and comes back to the 2019 Lego sets. It's the 20th anniversary pod racer set. Some of you may have read my comments on your own videos saying that I was going to buy this one day, and so I couldn't let you down. I've always regretted not getting the pod racer from back when they were first released, and this latest release was my chance to put things right. So guys, that's a set for each of my 100 subs. Thank you so much for everything. As I always say, I really appreciate every view, like, comment, and of course, subscribes. I can't wait to see what target we can reach by the end of the first year, but I would love to break 600. Let's hope with the massive LEGO Star Wars sets coming out for episode nine, there'll be loads more LEGO to talk about and build. And now, it's time for the bit my subscribers have all been waiting for, the shout outs. As my subs grow and grow, these become increasingly more valuable. I've had to burst my limit of 10 to accommodate some special mentions for people who have helped me through more than just their comments. These guys are committed. They watch all my content, they like every one of my videos, they've been subscribed forever, and they love a comment. So, here goes. The special thanks goes to Solo Brick Builder, E of D, DLK Productions R&T Productions Built by Hand Super Mukio Lego Bros Productions Lego Builder 99 Imperial Bricks Productions Banana Wizard Micah Knight Productions, Darren Lego Wells, Brick One, Lego Master Medina, Coconut Brick Studios, and finally, Lego Head Productions AZ, or AZ for those of you in the UK. 
These are only 16 out of my 400 amazing subscribers. So a big thanks goes to every one of you who weren't mentioned or who watched, but maybe don't comment. If you want to make it onto this list for the next special for 500 subs, you know what you have to do. Subscribe, like, and comment on my videos regularly, and you'll get yourself noticed. The next one is going to have 500 people who can potentially watch it. So it could be a big, big opportunity to get your channel noticed. That's all from me for now, guys. So over to you. Get scrolling down, click the like button on your way, and drop me a comment to hear your thoughts. Little Bricks out.